Okay, um, I'll just switch to the PowerPoint. Right, can everybody see the slides now? Yes, bro. Yes. Okay. Yes, bro. Right. Um, first of all, um, this is the first time we are using WebEx for our online session. So probably there are some glitch here and there. And just to let you know that this is my second uh, online class for uh, uh, using WebEx. Before this, we all this what we are using Zoom. Eh? Never mind. I, I believe um, it is uh, still a, a, an online platform. Anything can happen. The internet can can be disrupted, or so, or, or we can. But we can reset everything back. Okay. Um, for today. Um, we, I will share with you the uh, company profile, how to basically make up a company profile. Last week, um, I have already shared with you uh, the tips on how to make a uh, video, okay, your presentation for your product. And for today, um, a, a little bit of tips on how to build a company profile. So basically, later um, the uh, the group or the company uh, need to build the company profile. Okay? Uh, you are going to submit it um, in groups. Uh, it's not an individual effort. So basically, it is a collective effort uh, for every company. Right. Uh, in terms of the content, it's not that uh, much. We are going to just look into the overview. What is uh, uh, the company profile all about um, and then we will look at the purpose uh, the reason why we need to have a company profile and then uh, we will look at the elements of a company profile what are the company profile should have right and if we still have time i will share with you a snapshot of uh, a real life uh, company profile okay um overview what is a company profile so some of um you have already heard that uh, a company profile that uh, being prepared by either enterprises, uh, uh, Sandy Rambert or private limited company, even a big holding com companies uh, should have a company profile. So basically, it is like a resume for a company. So similarly, like, like yourself, you should have or already have your resume right so a company profile is a resume for the company and it has all the uh, bas basic uh, information basic things meaning that like uh, what is the name of the company the logo of the company who own the company uh, what the company sells and, and some basic information right and it also put up um, in terms of the product of course and a little bit of the company details, right? And uh, depending on the purpose of the company profile that you want to use, the company and a company profile, like a, a curriculum vitae or resume of individual, it can be a, a short company profile. It can also be a full information or a full fledge of a company profile. So you have a short CV or you can have a long CV. It depends on the purpose of the, uh, the usage. Right. So as we mentioned just now, the purpose. Eh? Uh, why do we need a company profile? So in the first place, when you want to prepare your CV, your resume, what is it for? Right. You want to a resume for individual. You want to find jobs. You want to uh, get uh, scholarships. You want to apply for positions uh, in uh, for study, right? So you use a resume or you use a, 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 com, a curriculum vitae. Similarly, with a company profile, it is normally being used to when whenever a company would like to uh, seek for uh, investment, right? They go to uh, investor, angel investor, or they go to banks. They have to provide company profile that tells the story of who are the people behind the company and there are cases that you need 
uh, a company profile to bid for tender, right? They, they some some tender requirement they put up. Okay, no more than thirty pages of a company profile, right? So uh, uh, the company uh, need to prepare to prepare the profile according to the needs. So it can be a short company profile. It can be a full pledge of the company profile, right? Depending on the usage. Basically, it is being used to give the first impression, right? Um, uh, the for example, like a, a investor when whenever they want to before they call uh, a company to present do the presentation to do the pitching right they ask for the company profile and then they will glance through uh, what are the elements who are uh, basically they, it is a kind of uh, uh, being a first filter of uh, giving up uh, grants or investment all right if you have any question we can uh, you can interrupt straight away or you can wait until the end of the session all right um, in terms of the elements, okay, um, the information that I gather in this particular uh, slides are taken from uh, a channel called uh, Young Entrepreneurs. You can look into their website uh, to, to see more on uh, the full um, information on the elements of company profile. And you may find uh, other sources, okay, there are so many sources outside there in the website, even books uh, that are telling how to prepare a company profile. So what a company profile should have? The first one, normally a company profile, you will put your basic information. Your basic information meaning that the, the basic information of the company, eh, how you organize and, uh, and efficient you are. Basically, you want to uh, give an impression. You do, not, you, you do not need to tell everything, but what are the important parameters? I will share with you some um, best practices on what are the basic information that are needed in a company profile. Right. Uh, normally, a company profile will have uh, the, uh, the official name. The official name is the registered name. The com a company in Malaysia, they have to be registered in the Suruhanjaya Syarikat Malaysia or um, registered organization, what is it? I can't, I can't remember. ROC, is it? Eh? So it is a SSM or ROC where you register your company name. Sometimes you have a trade name. A trade name is like a, a short form, for example, like UPM. UPM is not a registered name. Eh? University Putra Malaysia is a registered name under the Akta of uh, registration of uh, university. Uh, if you just uh, check UPM, there's no such UPM registered, but University Putra Malaysia is a registered name. Similarly here, you normally have to put the official name that the company registered, all right? And then the regist regist registration number, right? Normally it will indicate whether it is a private limited company, St. Remberhard, is it a holding company? Okay, or is it an enterprise uh, and, and so on. So, uh, um, and then you also have address. Uh, uh, address means address of uh, communication, right? You also have your logo. I already asked each company to design a logo, right? And the logo should uh, basically uh, reflect to the uh, company nature. Eh? And then uh, some information about tax detail and so on. And you then uh, talk about your company's idea, right? Write about your company vision, right? What, where, what you want to be, eh? guiding uh, ethics and a little bit about the history of the company. Uh, when the company being founded, maybe it's being found uh, in year 2000 or it's already being established in 1975, for example, and so on, right? So some companies also highlighted that they are uh, known to be a different name. So they put up the history. It, they established in 1980s by the name of this, but in year 2000, they convert the name. They, they, they transform. Similarly, like UPM, right? University of Pertanian Malaysia, Agriculture University, we transform the name or we change our name in 2007 
uh, to University Putra Malaysia, right? But the establishment of University Putra Malaysia is way back in 1973, okay? Right, so you talk about history is not uh, telling the whole history, just important key points in terms of the who established the company, the background, the motivation, founding members, right? If you have founding members, let's say you are just uh, formed your, com your company three months ago when we started our class, right? You formed the company. Yes, tell the truth, okay? We formed the company in February uh, 15, uh, year 2020. Who are the founding members? Eh? The founding members, you may elaborate a little bit on a biography in of each company, uh, members, eh? the, 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 the directors, the CEO and so on, the background of each particular member in terms of the strength, right? The relevant information, okay? And basically, next you can put the structure. You may put a simple um, company organization chart, eh? So it, it doesn't have to be the whole, let's say you have 2,000 2, employees, you don't have to put everything there. You just put the key personnel. Eh? In terms of the company uh, type, okay, is it a partnership? Is it a non-profit? Is it a close corporation, sole proprietor? Who own the company? Is it the director themselves own the uh, company or there's someone else behind it? Eh? Is it a, a foundation own a company? Right, and then you put your vision statement. I just have uh, purposely put it here. Uh, what does a vision statement means? You put your future desired position. For example, like the company, what the company want to be in the next uh, maybe uh, five years or 10 years, the aim of the company, what the company want to be, right? They start with a, a tech company. Probably they want to venture out into more specific area, probably um, services in oil and gas. You want to focus on IT, big data, um, or something else. Eh? So the vision, what, you, what the company want to be. For example, they want to become a globally known um, uh, tech company. Eh? Um, so um, that is something that um, you can put in. For example, like uh, the vision for University of Putra Malaysia, basically, you uh, university uh, that uh, has uh, an international repute, eh? right? So that is the vision of UPM. Okay, what is the vision of your company? So you put it put it somewhere in the in the company profile. And apart from the vision, you may want to also put the mission statement, right? So you have a a, a vision. You may have probably two or three mission that going to support you your company to become the uh, uh, the the to achieve the vision right your purpose the purpose of the company the philosophy behind it right and at the same time you may also have objective so objective can be short term as well as long term so imagine you have a house okay the roof is the the pillar the the, the top is the of the roof is the vision and then you have the vision and it is being supported by the pillars the pillars are the objective that you want to plan okay in terms of the short term and a long term all right then you may also include products and services you may list down what are you plan to sell right and uh, the pricing strategy the competitive difference value adds positioning so basically you don't put the details of every product you may want to group it or you, if you have only one product just mention about the only one product and how the product being developed okay and uh, in terms of the uh, remember the NABC the needs the approach the benefit and the competitive uh, com competitive analysis you may want to pr provide a snapshot uh, of the information inside the uh, company profile right and at the same time this is another thing that uh, normally a company profile has which is buyer profile right um, where you highlight the market segment uh, I think I two weeks ago I've already highlighted that you need to find who are your target target customer right 
uh, whether is it uh, school children, is it uh, people on the street, or is it uh, company directors, and so on. So what are the market segment for your product? Okay, and buying pattern, characteristics of your of your buyers, frequency of purchase. If you have some data, average basket size. We need how the trend of the uh, uh, clients when they want to purchase this is just a an example of what you can put in uh the buyer profile at the same time lifetime value eh? so what um the um background of the buyers that you normally buy or purchase your uh product it can be services you can put a list of clients you can put examples of um uh, projects that you already obtain um to to convince the um, people who read the company profile and then the core values okay sometimes the core values appear in a in a company profile but uh, i've seen a few quite a few that put this uh, probably um, right after the uh, vision mission no objective they put a core values and then there are companies put for example the company that i um, um okay i'm I think Amirul B3 trying to get into the class. Uh, probably someone can. How is is it that he can in, enter the class already? Because uh, when I sh uh, see this slide, I cannot see other things. Eh? Right? Is it okay? Amirul B3 is already in the class. I think there's no password, right? You, you can just enter, and then there's no admin approval am i right yeah there's no password okay okay so let us just continue okay uh, in terms of guiding principle that shape the behavior of the company right for example like uh, in upm we have um, uh, four uh, sorry we have ihsan we have integrity we have uh, diversity and I can't remember the fourth one. So um, that shape our core values of delivering uh, teaching and learning in UPM, right? Key employees. So most of the time, uh, since you have uh, uh, organization structure in the beginning, you have key employees. You may highlight who are the uh, people. Eh? The, you may highlight the directors. You may highlight highlight the chief uh, technology officers with unique skill probably like a portfolio of individual okay for probably in in one slide you have uh, a few names over there the key people uh, with the qualification the experiences employment equity for the company and empowerment status if if uh, it is relevant all right And the third element is basically you can also find out more specific details. Right? So in the in the uh, company profile, you may highlight, uh, okay, our company has uh, 200 employees and the turnover is what? Uh, a few uh, billion ringgit, for, for example, uh, list of all business activities, what are all the areas you work in, right? So um, there are cases company profile they put everything all the the code that are uh, available in the ministry of finance they just put everything that means that they are not focused eh? make sure you highlight uh, the areas that you have strength in okay um, and you can uh, you just highlight okay we are uh, expert in electronics um, or you are good in uh, building services and so on eh? Unique equipment or specialties, if you have, the company has, um, for example, you have um, certain, uh, for example, you have uh, 3D printers that you use for to pre 3D print your, your products um, or you have uh, autoclave to do uh, composite uh, curing and so on. And what are uh, whether you have certification, eh, specific certifications, for example, you have ISO 9001, the quality management system or you have um, about the uh, um, ISO 30,000 on, on the risk management, you can also have on the environment, or you have specific certification for the product that you sell, right? 
and uh, import export whether your product uh, is already being used elsewhere um, outside Malaysia eh, or, or you also have um, 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 imports uh, um, other product that you you then resell it okay you, the methodology the approach of your uh, company on your product volume of output you can handle right for example you can produce the vacuum blood container 2 million tubes per month for example what are your capacity yeah, delivery statistic if you have just create a delivery statistic for example like uh, in january you have produced 2 million uh, tubes uh, in 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 january or a uh, first quarter of the year is certain amount of of volume and then second quarter certain amount of volume for the past years yeah? so to show why why this is important right this is important to show the track record and to give uh, confidence to the, the people who uh, read your company profile eh? uh, and then you may list down major accounts or clients eh? you can you can highlight for example that like you have a contract with mrt uh, corp you have contract with prasarana you have contract with ktmb so it shows that you are your company has the uh, status eh? the, the, the the profile that they they are looking for Another elements of a good company profile, basically, when you want to prepare a company profile, you better look out for the competitors. <clears throat> Study other business profiles, other business profiles that, that are selling the same or similar product. Right? Note the style and tone of the ones that stand out. Okay? You may look at uh, other companies, you may look at uh, companies outside Malaysia or look at their business profile yes? so you may uh, try to google or try to find out um, uh, from from other sources uh, to see how um, other businesses especially those who are uh, selling roughly the same thing as uh, your uh, product okay and uh, use accurate up-to-date details right whenever you prepare your company profile make sure the numbers that you put in, for example, you want to put in the uh, previous track record. Make sure it is uh, it is valid. It is still relevant. For example, like don't put um, outdated data. Put the latest one if if it shows uh, a good data. All right, and uh, try to show that yes, you have the current information. For example, like uh, you have a certificate of ISO nine thousand one. Right. The latest ISO is ISO 9001 2018. Don't put ISO 2001 2015, for example, or 2012 or 2008. So it, it shows that you are not up to date. Make sure all the information that you uh, put inside your company profile are current, right? And uh, then keep it short. Even though I mentioned earlier that a company profile may uh, be a long version it can be a 30 pages uh, long uh, company profile it can be as short as five pages right so uh, but what is more important is that we want to make sure that the information that we put in uh, are engaging so people would like to still read in read read through the report from page one until the last page so we don't want uh, a, a company profile that uh, has 30 pages suddenly when when the person who read the uh, company profile after two pages they said okay that's it this is a rubbish eh? they, they want to they don't want to continue for whatever reason eh? so uh, keep it short but make sure all the information are uh, available and try to use clean formatting eh? lines and standard font to visually organize your profile I believe since you are doing it in group, make sure, uh, let's say you divide the uh, tasks eh, for to do the company profile to into four section, right? The, the first introduction and the information on the company, someone do it. They use a, a font size 40, for example, uh, with Times New Roman. Um, and then the second uh, chapter uh, using um, what? Uh, different font and smaller font and it is not 
really jive with the with the formatting meaning means that the the pre preparation of the company profile itself doesn't show unity and the togetherness the teamwork of the company so uh, try to um, align someone probably need to 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 when they do the formatting make sure they they everybody are happy with it so and not just one person doing it it is a collective effort but try to be professional eh? and uh, the last but not least item is mentioning why your company is best this is the last uh, point it can be uh, in the early pages it can also be at the last page of your company profile to show that don't search anywhere else we are the best for example eh? so something that try to hook again the attention of the um, of the reader or the people who assessing your company profile so uh, these are just the uh, tips in terms of um, what I can prepare so far okay as I said I've uh, collect the information from a few sources uh, namely young entrepreneurs as well as I can't remember the other website that I, I search so it is a combination of a few information and also my own experience that um, preparing company profile okay so before I show an example is there any question so far anyone no bro okay uh, let uh, me just bro. go quickly uh, even though it's 70 you, pardon <laughs> That thank you. <laughs> yeah. Let me just uh, share. Prof, yes, yeah. Uh just a quick question. Uh okay. is it like somehow this company profile uh, equivalent to the business proposal that you said before? Okay. Uh a business proposal is another thing. It is a basically all of this will come together. You have your corporate video. Right? You have your product uh, promotional video for your three minutes. You have the company profile that you need to prepare. You will later have your business proposal. Okay. And a <laughs> grant proposal. Uh, for to, oh. So you, you, at the end of the day, you are going to, to go through the whole process of uh, a real company that you want, when, whenever you go out, um, you want to uh prepare a company profile yes i have prepared a company profile at this i've learned it in upm so this is the the way to, to prepare company profile and we will also uh, uh expose you to prepare business proposal how to prepare a business proposal how to bid for grant and and of course the the video eh, the pitching video all right so this is part of the whole exercise later you are going to do it okay okay prof Right, let me just share with you quickly uh, a company called MSQ Edusis. Eh? It sounds familiar. Uh, I think I've shown you the company that I, I, I involve, MIQ Edusis. This is just another company. Uh, it's a transformation from the MIQ Edusis. Eh? Um, it, is, uh, it has 73 slides, but I'm not have any intention to share with, with you everything and eh? just an example um you have can you see the slides now right yes bro yes bro okay so just a quick one um um a this is just a the company logo okay this is the first page of the company profile a company logo they also have their what they call it as a tagline eh? leader in education training quality services and engineering solution so the company called msq edusis there is a reason what uh, what is msq what is edusis eh? and at the same time um, i believe this logo is uh, m s and q somewhere there eh? so <laughs> okay um oops they also have an executive summaries um, what is the company all about the core business of the company uh, it has a like a intent intent eh, to grow uh, the company right 
um, and then they also put up their objective they have uh, i think about how many objectives so many objectives eh? seven objectives so they use uh, the keywords to raise to provide to expose to share to solve to improve to develop uh, so that is a objective statement and then they also have some background history right it is uh, as i said it is a uh, uh, formerly known as Mick Edusis and Jamberhart. So they have a company. Uh, this is a real company. The company that I shared with you in the class session. So it is a spin-off company. Now the company is uh, already graduated from UPM. Now it's a standalone company. Founded in 2015. And uh, it mentioned about outcome-based education, provide system solution, and so on. Now they are also... Um, giving solution for IR tomography, right? Um, uh, for infrared cameras and so on. Eh? Uh, they put up their vision, right, to be the best technical training education center. What they want to be, they aim to 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 be later on. Uh, the mission itself, oops, uh, the mission itself to provide best cost effective technical training, and then uh, core value. Eh? Um, they have. The keyword MSQ, uh, which is mastery, synergy, and quality. So, anything that they do, they uh, will uh, cover the core values. Eh? The M, S, and Q, right? Um, simple organization organization chart of the company. They have a board of director there, eh? uh, and then they have the CEO. They don't have the deputy CEO. Maybe one of you can apply. To become the deputy CEO later on, they also have a, a vacancy for the quality and risk unit. They have accounts. They have what HR department, um, quality uh, operation training department. They have marketing and others. And so basically, uh, these are the the people behind the company, right? You may also add on the portfolio for each uh, key personnel uh, in your company. Um. What do we offer? Basically, the company itself, uh, they offer education and training, right? QMS services, right? They provide consultation services. They also provide uh, the technical, eh, te technical inspection uh, on thermal, visual, and ultra ultrasound inspection, right? Uh, this is the product of uh, outcome-based education. And then um, some images of their certification right certification that they can they can offer for qms uh, iso 9001 iso 14001 about the environment and the all osha eh, occupational health safety 18001 and the training uh, or the services on the thermography eh, the infrared thermal camera right so they they highlight that they are expert and competent specialist trainer so do why this is how they try to attract the um uh, what they the people who read their company profile saying that yes they are the best they they what are the qualities eh, uh, of their uh, company right even though it is only five years old but the company has already a, a proven track record right local clients uh, so they this is a um, True business eh, from from MSQ Educis. So they have KTMB, Shell, they have Air Force, uh, Armed Forces, Exxon Mobil, and and others. Eh. So international client in terms of the thermography. Eh. So those are the companies, right? Experts, uh, competent training specialists, right? Okay, I want to stop there because um the purpose is just to show. To show example, you may also be able to uh, show. Okay, uh, you may also uh, be able to see um, other examples available in the um, in in other places. Okay, now we have fifteen people. Eh? Um, we started with nine. All right. So I open up a question. Let me just look at the chat. Eh? Uh, prof for company profile is it appropriate to benchmark with other with our competitors by mentioning company X Y and uh, etc. Basically, uh, thank you uh, Azinuddin eh, about the question here. Basically, uh, in a company profile, you do not 
uh, highlight uh, directly the competitors like the company portfolio that I share with you, with you just now it is showing the strength okay you have the SWOT right the the strength uh, the weakness opportunity and threat so basically the weakness the, you you show the strength you show the you don't show your weakness uh, you show opportunity right and you show the uh, SWOT what is T anyone threat threat <laughs> Okay, thank you. I hope I I I'm glad that you you are still there. Eh? So the threat, the threat you don't show it there. Eh? You company profile is to to sell off the company like like a CV, right? You want you want to apply for jobs. What you want to show this uh, to the to the employer, eh? Where to employ you? So similarly with a company profile. So you don't do do not need to do the competitors analysis uh, that one is uh, the the strategy behind how you um, try to improve your product okay thank you uh, azinuddin anyone else would like to ask okay if not let me just uh, let, let me just sorry, stop sorry. recording so that uh, we can upload the recording earlier okay.